What is up everybody? It is Collector Joey here. Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day today and I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the week. Today I get to show you guys something really cool that I get asked about a lot and it's going to be of the black backgrounds and black shelf bottoms that I do have on my detoffs. Uh, every time I post my detoff I at least get a question about how I did that so I'm here today to show you guys how. The list of materials I'm going to tell you guys just this is all you need and it's not much. You might have these things laying around the house or anything like that. First thing you're going to want to get is the construction paper. I get, got mine from Michaels. You can get yours from any other craft store. I got a 22 by 28 inch. That's what I usually get and uh, it works fine just like that. So you want to go to your Michaels and get that. They're usually just around. If you want to get any other color you, you can and they have like some kind of galaxy color as well that would probably look cool. But uh, yeah, just get the black ones and you should be good after that. Next, while you're at Michael's, you probably want to get some painter's tape. That's what I got. Two inch paint painter's tape and that works perfectly fine. You could probably get the inch one as well, but you probably have to put a little bit more on your construction paper. Next, you're going to need some scissors, something that you have laying around probably everywhere. Everybody has scissors laying around somewhere. You could use that or you can use an X-Acto blade, but I prefer scissors. Then next you can get a yardstick, that's what I prefer, but also you, if you have a ruler or something, but a yardstick will be long enough to make that straight line all the way across the construction paper. And last but not least, you can get a pencil or a pen or whatever you want to do because you're just going to be cutting it out anyway. So that's what the last item is. So let me show y'all how it is done. <laughs> Alright guys, so what you're going to want to start off with is your detoff shelf. This is the detoff shelf right here. And what you want to do is place it on the construction paper. Then you're going to want to get your pencil and make an outline of the shelf. Um, so here's how I'm doing it. You just do that. And I believe this one construction paper can make two shelf bottoms. So you just need two for the shelves, two construction paper for the shelves. And here it is right here. And then... Here is the next step to make the back. The back you're going to want to go up uh, 14 and a half inches up and then go across and you're going to have to have one construction paper for each of these. So you're going to need about three per detoff. So here's the backing right here. Just that's all. It, well, that's all it took. And now you have the back right here. You're going to want to get your tape. I believe I put it out, pull it out right here. And here is the tape you're going to want to use. What you're going to want to do is take about three inches and cut it off. And let's see. Sorry, I'm a little late on my. And what you're going to do is get that three inches of painter's tape and roll it up like this. And then you're going to want to stick it on the part of your construction paper you want. You put one, two, and three. That looks great. So this is going to stick on the back of your detoff. It's going to look good so here is what you do you just set down your shelf bottom and it looks like that and then you're going to want to take this and stick it to the back of the very top of the detoff so let's see i show a little example right here you're going to want to put it very top just make sure it's like hitting the top and then as you go down you're going to want to overlap the second one right here overlap it and then it goes down, down. And then so here's where you can make a smaller one as the third one at the bottom. You can make a shorter one so you don't have to overlap so much, but that's what it looks like. Yeah, you can see the crease, but you know, it's not too bad. But yeah, it's hard to see. With all your figures there too, it's hard to see. But here's a little close up of what that looked like. I think it looked really good. Yeah, you're gonna see the shelf dust a little bit more, but that's okay. I think just a little dusting would look good. The black background really looks great. And I think that every detox needs this honestly helps with the glare and all that. So just tell me what y'all think in the comment section below. Also, while you're down there, hit that like and subscribe button. And this has been Collector Joey. I hope this helped y'all. See y'all in the next video. Peace.